So we are going to discuss today about stack. So we are going to discuss today about stack. So what is stack? So in computer science, a stack is an abstract data type that serves as a collection of elements with two main principal operations. First operation is push. Second operation is pop. In order in the order in which elements come off a stack gives rise to the alternative name, which is called LIFO structure. Okay, so stack basically is a advanced. Uh, it's a data structure, primitive data structure, not advanced. It's a primitive data structure. So the the constant is stack is that it's one end is closed, and the other end is open. So only data can enter through this. Okay, so let us say I'm going to insert one, two. Three and four, and let's say the stack size is four. So in that case, first one will be inserted, then two will be inserted, then three will be inserted, and then finally four will be inserted. So this operation is called push operation, and when you are deleting the element from the top, it is called pop operations. Okay. So what are the so origin of stack data structure? Stacks entered the computer science literature in 1946, and who is Alan Turing? Used to term uh, "booty" and "unbooty" as a means of calling and returning from subroutines, and then these persons, these two fellows, these two scientists, uh, has proposed the ideas of a stack in 1955 when filed a patent in 1957, and in March 1988, the uh, uh, scientist Samuelson was deceased, and Boyer received the IEEE Computer Pioneer Award for invention of the stack principle. So it is not that old. Okay. So important of stack is that stack is a lasting fast out data structure. Sometimes it is called LIFO data structure. We can add an element in the stack, refer as pushing. When you're adding the element in the stack, it is called pushing. When removing an element in the stack, it is called popping. So insert operations also sometimes mentioned as push operation, delete operation sometimes mentioned as pop operation. And the, the stack can be accessed, element inside the stack can be accessed one by one, one end, okay, from one end. That means, as I said, that visually if you look at stack, this end is open. So from top of the stack only, the element can be deleted, okay. Another thing is that the order in which the plates are popped, let's say, stack of plates it's a quite common example okay this is stack of plates stack of books also possible stack of books let's say stack of books so here in this plate uh, this if you want to delete if you want to pop this plate you have to first pop this 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 and then you can only pop this so there is a particular order so the order in which plates are popped from the stack is the reverse of the order in which they were pushed onto the stack since only the top plate is accessible okay through top only you have to come so this is an example of which demonstrate push demonstrate push pop and top operations you can see initially let's say the stack size is uh, five so initially we are pushing one then we are pushing two and then we are pushing three and pushing four and pushing five and then finally let us say we, are, we want to push six but if the size of the stack is five then we cannot push six so that will be like the stack will be overflown okay overflow will happen in the stack that means the you cannot push further element because the, if you're implementing through array so the size of the stack will be static so you cannot increment it so that will be called overflow okay overflow will happen if it cross size of the stack so further insertions insertion cannot be possible similar thing will happen for uh, for popping operations, so first six will be popped, then five, then four, then three, then two, then one. Each step it will happen, okay? Now here, uh, this is called top of the stack. You can call it TOS. So initially TOS, let us say zero or one or whatever. So if it is zero, initially then when you insert, uh, then it will become zero plus one, and then it will become one plus uh, one. Like that, the uh, stack, top of the stack will be incremented, okay? And when it is empty, you can refer it as minus one. When stack is empty, you can refer it as minus one. Okay, and then when we are entering first element, it will increment minus one plus one equal to zero. 
let's say array is 0 and you are entering first element which is 1 similarly here if it is top of the stack tos then uh, let us say 0 1 2 3 4 it will, if it is 4 then initially when you delete that the top of the stack will become 4 minus 1 3 4 minus 3 minus 1 2 2 minus 1 1 like that things will become okay so 0 1 2 0 1 2 3 4 4 3 2 1 0 okay this is 1 so like that you can pop also element one at a time now what is this good for okay the stack application can be infix to postfix what is infix normally compiler uh, struggles to read this thing like this kind of expression it struggles to read although for the human it is easy compiler. so compiler what it does computer it, it changes to postfix expression ab plus or sometimes it changes to convert it to prefix uh, prefix condition which is plus ab so which is um, ab plus and plus ab okay so this is postfix this is prefix so this inf and this is called infix infix okay and this is pre this is postfix okay and this is prefix so uh, infix to uh, postfix and then infix to prefix so this kind of applications are possible using stacks then backtracking technique also possible function call and return process recursive, recursive function use a stack okay uh, saving local value uh, variable when one function calls another and then this one calls another and then web page web related applications are also there page visited history in web browser also contained in stack okay so we can implement stack in two ways one is array implementation another one is linked list implementation so once we learn linked list we'll we'll see how to do that but for the timing we can do it using array okay so beside push pop there can be another function which is called uh, and there there will be another function here which is called is full and is empty so when the let's say stack size is static let us say stack size is five that means five element one two three four five uh, one two three four six okay this is a zero one two three four index okay so here if let us say later on i'm going to see the size uh, later on let us say i'm going to insert eight in the stack but i can't do it because stack size is already reached is maximum it cannot be further element cannot be inserted okay so this is not possible so for what that for that what you have to do we have to just simply call this is full function if is full function is true then we cannot further uh, we cannot enter anything in the stack we cannot push anything and there will be that contrary to that there is another function called is empty so if stack is totally empty and let us say the index is minus one that means nothing is there in the stack in that case you cannot delete any element from the stack or you cannot pop any pop any pop any element from the stack so push means insertion and pop means uh, deletion okay these two operations we cannot do right so this is what happens so is empty if is empty is true that means uh, stack is empty that returns true so you cannot further delete anything so these two constraints are there and peak operation through peak operation you can just simply peak what is there at the top of the stack so everything you do with the stack you have to go through this top of the stack only okay that is one problem with the stack so what peak operation does peak operation returns top of that top of the stack as i said or top here okay so in peak return stack top okay that means it returns the top of the stack let's say one two three so three if, the, if it is the top of the stack it will return three and then is full function if if top reaches the max size of the array then it returns true then we cannot further insert any anything in the stack so it's called is full function and is empty function is just opposite to that if stack is minus one that means it is is empty and it will return true otherwise it return false so if is empty returns returns true then you cannot delete the anything from the stack because nothing is there to delete so if if you see the push function how push function works so here it is push full uh, full code is uh, the snippet code, code snippet is there so if you see if is full is full is full if it is true then this part becomes zero that means this is logic one uh, not of logic one is zero so this whole part will be you know deactivated that means it won't execute he is here you have to play display that as tag is full insertion not possible even if it is false if it is false 
then false that means zero not zero equal to one so what you will do let us say this is a situation let's say we i have one two let's say stand of the size is three next i'm going to insert six uh, six at this position top of the stack so what you have to do now top of the stack is zero one so top of the stack is here one i'm going to insert six at the top so what i'll do i'll here simply increase the top equal to top plus one so this top of the stack is top, is top of top of the top of the top of the stack plus one that means one plus one which is nothing but two at position two that means stack 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 position two i am having this element which is nothing but six so six will be inserted here so here at position two will be inserted similarly for pop operation what will happen let's say this is the situation we have okay i have only one element in the stack and i want to delete that so first is empty function be called so is empty function if it is false so because this stack is not empty so if this part will be false so this will be zero not zero equal to one so element will be equal to so this is the top now so top element stack top stack top that means it is nothing but let's say one so one will be stored in element and then i'll decrement this top so i i'll decrement this is zero already so i'll decrement it the top will become nothing but zero minus one which is equal to minus one so this will become this will become minus one and return element okay so this zero will become minus one and we'll return that element this will be deleted just like that so this is the pop operation so in pop operation everything you have to call is empty so what is the time required by various stack operation for pushing one element inside the stack is not a big deal so just you need a constant and you can push o one time because let's say you are pushing five here so it is just that you are having five you are pushing it that means o one constant popping also let us say you have pushed already five we want to delete that so simply have to delete that means single shot that means o one constant okay pop popping also constant and push also constant both are constant okay now top of the stack is one okay and then top seeing the top also will take one Achha, another thing is that but when you search an element let's say the stack is fully uh, the length of the stack is let's say n and the element that you are searching is one at the bottom so what in that case you have to do for this this constant one for this let's say six seven 10 11 and then 1 and I am searching for 1 so first what it will do 6 it will, it will see 6 and then 7 and then 10 and then 11 every time it will keep, keep deleting the stuff so if the size is n to delete to search this 1 it will take o in time remember that okay so one operation it is for one operation it is o1 for n operation it is o n okay so this is uh, so thanks for watching this video So next we are going to see the data structure which is called Q. Q data structure, okay. So we have seen last lecture what is stack now because in stack problem is that it's one and it's closed. Now we want to make some advancement to this data structure and we want to make it more flexible. So what we did, what we have done, we have actually kept open both the site, okay both the side you have kept token open so and then it becomes a queue okay q u e u e now you can see one example of queue maybe this you know petrol pump where one through one and all the cars are getting entered in the petrol pump and then filled with the petrol and then going out similarly here in queue data structure same thing happened here you have rear rear so let us call this uh, this enter as a rear 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 point and then the element which is going out let us call it front okay front so through rear it will enter and through front it will go out so this is wrongly written this is rear okay so this is how the data structure has been modified from stack so this is earlier it was stack and now we have it is q okay so you see some so how it will work actually okay so in computer science, a queue is a collection of entities that are maintained in a sequence and can be modified by the addition of entities at one end of the sequence and removal of entities from the other end. So this is a best example of uh, queue. 
here you see front pointer is this side and then back pointer sometimes back pointer also there rear pointer sometimes known as back back pointer so whatever element you will push you will push from this uh, rear pointer only rear end only okay so this is rear end this is front end so front end is that element is that front where you will delete the element from the from the queue okay so dq so deleting element from the queue sometimes referred as dq insert an element in a queue is called in queue deleting will happen through front end or through front pointer and deletion will happen through rear pointer okay now how it will happen actually you see by convention the end of the sequence at which elements are added is called the back tail or rear pointer so addition will happen through rear pointer which is also known as tail or back of the queue and the end at which elements are removed is called the head or, or the front of the queue and through front point it will happen analogously to the words used when the people line up to wait for goods or services so this is how queue works okay now we have actually three options one is in queue another one is dq another is full and is empty so let us see how these things will happen so initially when the queue is empty we have this rear pointer let's call it rear pointer and front pointer both are is both initialized to minus one that means let's say this is my queue nothing is there in the queue queue size is let's say something let's say four is the queue size okay size of the queue is four let's say uh size is or let's say five five is the size of the queue now initially nothing is there so what i'll do we'll just rear pointer and front pointer r and f both will be initialized to one now if let us say i'm going to insert element in the queue as five four two one these four elements i'm going to uh five four two one and then let's say nine this five element i'm going to insert into the queue so once I insert first element, what will happen? This one will be incremented. That means rear pointer. Rear pointer will be incremented as rear equal to rear plus one. That means rear will become minus one plus one, which is nothing but zero. So at, let us say this is my array, array, array zero at position, I'm going to insert first, let's say five. So five will be inserted here. And then, and then, and then immediately what will happen? This front pointer also will be uh, once this five being inserted in the queue through rear pointer or rear end the front pointer also will be incremented by one and it will become minus one plus one equal to zero the front pointer also will become zero okay so both will be there now because once i delete five at this position then again front pointer will go to minus one okay so next um, my element is four that i'm going to insert so what, I, what i'll do i'll increment the rear pointer uh, from 0 plus 1 which is nothing but 1 at position 1 that means array array 1 I'm going to insert, insert 4 so 4 will be associated here and then next it will be 0 1 and then 2 at position 2 we have 2 and then 1 1 I'm inserting at position 3 and then finally I have 9 9 I'm inserting at the last position no rear pointer is pointing here the last position okay so 0 1 2 3 and then this is nothing but rear pointer index is 4 okay so 9 has also been inserted now if you just delete it you will see the situation complete situation uh, see here uh, rear pointer has come over here and then it is having 9 and then uh, what we started with 5 4 3 2 9 okay 5 4 3 2 9 these are the element i have inserted rear pointer is here front pointer is here now insertion has been done now in which cases you cannot insert which cases you cannot insert if rear pointer reaches the maximum size of the queue then you cannot that means when is full function is true then you cannot insert further limit let's say after 5 4 3 2 9 i want to insert 10 but the queue size is 5 I, we have declared earlier static queue okay size cannot be dynamically increased now you can increase it using link list but in this case we cannot so 10 cannot be inserted because this is full function is that time every time you insert in something to the queue this is full function will be checked whether it is uh, whether the queue is full or not if it is full if it returns true then we cannot insert 10 that means 10 we cannot insert here okay and then uh, what about the deletion part 
now once you want to delete the from the front end only deletion can happen okay from the front end so first it will be deleted five five will be deleted front pointer will come from zero to one that means front pointer will become zero plus one one then if you delete four then it will go to here at position one plus one two at position two it will go then if you delete this it will go to position three okay so two plus one three if you go if you further delete this it will go here so rear pointer and front pointer both are pointing to the same location and let's say you're deleting this so front pointer will further come and it will try to occupy next one but next location is not available because you have maximum size is five so zero index is zero one two three four so if if front pointer we uh, front pointer become five five is greater than four that means if front pointer greater than rear pointer then we cannot further uh, delete any element or if we have or if we have front pointer equal to equal to minus one in both these cases we cannot delete anything from the queue okay so that means is empty function will be true when is empty function will be true when there is nothing to be deleted from the queue okay so these two functions will be called so now I'm going to show you the simulation. I'm going to show you the code of C code of uh, Q, okay? So here you can see that uh, size of the Q I have defined as, uh, as 10 and in Q DQ operations, initially rear pointer and front pointer, both are minus one, minus one, and then we have three options, um, three operations, NQ, DQ, and the uh, print element, and then finally exit, okay? So NQ operation, what happens? NQ operation, see here, rear pointer reaches to the top, size of the uh, size of the array, or size of the queue. In that case, we are writing that queue is over, uh, over overflow queue. We cannot insert anything in the, in the queue. Else, if front pointer is minus one, then make front pointer is zero. If this is the, this is the first case, because, in this case at least one element is there in the in the in the in the queue okay insert the element that means uh, insert the element uh, uh, that rear 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 point uh, rear value should be uh, whatever if it is started with uh, minus one then it will be uh, minus one plus one equal to zero so array zero position you can we can insert this first element okay this is a, and then uh, every time it will uh, it will, will call this nq function this rear point will get increased and then under your particular index you can add element until unless this array rear uh, reaches to the top with the maximum size of the queue so this is done and then next we have dq so I just now i have shown you dq, DQ function if front pointer equal to minus one that means the queue is empty we cannot uh, do anything uh, and then queue is underflow so when every maximum elements are there in the queue then we, we, are, call we are calling it overflow when minimum element there is no element in the queue we are going underflow queue if underflow queue means nothing can be done otherwise if it is not underflow then you can delete one element from the front because already front pointer has been initialized to uh, zero here so array zero position you will be deleting first element and then will increment the pointer zero to one just now i have seen so on that also if you want to delete another element that means well, array 1 will be deleted, array 2 will be deleted, like that things will go on and you can display everything here in the display function. But what is the problem here is that, here the problem is, so let us say 7, 2, 3, 4, 8, these are my element and rear pointer reaches here. Now if you deleting this front, front pointer, this, 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 7, 2, 3 will go out and then front pointer is here. Uh, it has deleted so next time front pointer will come over here so this part of this memory will be over stage this these cells cannot be utilized further so that is the drawback uh, drawback of linear queue that is the drawback of linear queue okay that is the drawback of linear queue okay so that is the drawback to overcome that what we do we used to circle make a circular queue out of it to reuse these spaces okay to reuse this space so it is like this circular queue we have to make so that the spaces that has been uh, deleted spaces that has been free that has been you know earlier the element was deleted by front pointer those spaces can be utilized reutilize it okay 
so that side is circular cube so 0 1 2 3 4 okay this is our circular cube the concept is that instead of inserting at i plus 1 at position we will be inserting at i plus 1 modulo size of the cube okay and then whatever value comes on that particular index we are going to insert the element by this process the uh, the spaces that are being missing that has been that have been wastage we can reuse them okay although circular queue also uh, like here hits me there, there is also a constant in circular queue if size of the array reaches uh, the maximum we cannot insert anything in the circular queue but there will be won't be any unused space we will be using all the spaces so circular queue is the alternative uh, solution to work on the to optimizing the to use this space optim in optimized way okay this uh, unwanted spaces that have been created by front pointer while deleting the element okay in linear queue so linear queue has been modified to circular queue to reuse this part of the space okay so this is all about your uh, uh, queue and stack i hope you have understood thanks for watching